us taking the training bus out, eh? No, no. And look what we got to train. Oh, what a lovely uh, pair of dollies, eh? Lovely. <laughs> Hello, darlings. Just make around the corner, I'll be with you in a All minute. All right, fellas, stand by the bus, be with you in a minute. Right. Ah, it'll be a treat, me driving inside. Ah, I'm much more relaxed, you know, when I'm not driving. Yeah, so am I. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Heads up. Here's Frankenstein. Oh, blimey, they dressed him in an alley. They screwed his head on crooked. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, mate, Frankie. Looks as if we can have some rain, mate. What makes you say that, then? Your moustache is a bit damp. <laughs> Big Ramus. Nah, it's more like a donkey's tail, isn't it? Every time it droops, we know we're in for old time. <laughs> you couldn't grow one, mate. Oh, uh, why not? Because if you're choppers, it look like weeds growing round a tombstone. <laughs> Anyway, what are you hanging about here for? You ought to be on that number 11 going to the cemetery gates. What, you heard? We're taking the training bus out. Here, aren't your instructions, yeah? You yes, too? Yeah. The management must have gone round the beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The union states that every crew shall have a turn on the training bus. That's right. And we've got to train them all we know. Yeah, well, that'll take about two minutes, won't it? What are you going to do the rest of the day? <laughs> anyway, let's take us. Who have we got here? Uh, Albert Harrison. Uh, that's me, Inspector. Yes. Alfred Pearson. Yes, Inspector. Janet Mould. Yeah, that's me, Inspector. Ah. I want you to pay particular attention to this young lady. She's been training all the week and she's passing a final test tomorrow morning. Well, if I know him, she'll be passing a final test tonight. <laughs> <laughs> tonight? What are you talking about? We've got a 20-minute tea break. <laughs> Can't you think of anything else? No. no. <laughs> anyway, it's a waste of time training these girls. They don't stay at the job long enough to warrant it. This depot's got the biggest turnover of clippers in the group. Yeah, well, that's probably because I was turnover more often than the others. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mistake having women, you know. They're always leaving to get married and have babies. Yeah, but not in that order. Yeah. <laughs> That's because their basic training ain't basic enough, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Shut up, will you? Uh, Betty Jones. Yes, Inspector. Oh, you started this morning, didn't you, love? Yes, Inspector. Yes. Uh, everything all right, is it? Oh, yes, Inspector. Yeah. The only thing is, this jacket they've given me is too tight. I can't button it up. Yes, yeah, sure, well, uh, see, uh... you don't have to have it on the first day, darling. <laughs> Yeah. She, uh, you don't have to you can take it off, can't yeah, you? she yeah, can like, manage. No, I'm just showing the new fellas how to negotiate dangerous curves, you <laughs> see what I mean? <laughs> get that jacket back, I'm going to go oh, on the bus. Come on, get it. OK, oh, but you can take her out first, mate. Right, right. Come on, darling, right, Hang about, step. hang right, about. Right. I shall need a complete report on the journeys and a complete report on the schedule. Yeah, right? OK, OK, right. Mm. right. They'll take you around the circular route. It'll be easy around here. Right. Right. What are you talking about, be easier? We come across some very nasty natural hazards on that route. Well, what are those, then? Well, tall things with black max and moustaches. <laughs> <laughs> Take them over! <laughs> Hazel Avenue yep. and Burden Road. Got it? Right. And don't forget, stop off at number three. Why, is that a fair stage? No, it's where I live. I want to drop the shopping off. <laughs> we're checking out the two birds. Uh, they're coming out with us tonight. Yeah, are they? Yeah, well, I told them they got to continue their training, you see. What are you talking about? Well, I mean, all the clippers have got to learn how to deal with tricky customers, haven't they? Yeah, well. Well, I mean, they don't come any trickier than us, do they? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Take it away, Bert. Right. Yeah, well, that wasn't a bad evening, then, was oh, it? Oh, great, mate. Hey, do you know what? I reckon if we work our cards right, we'll be all right, do you know, Jack? Yeah, we got those birds on the bus all day tomorrow. Hey, I've got tired, mate. Look at time. Not surprised. Gone 12 o'clock, you know. I'm ready for bed. Yeah, that's what I've been saying all night, but you didn't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Better luck tomorrow, mate. Yeah, no, no, no. I'll see you. <laughs> yeah, go on, mate. God, hey, Jack, Jack, just a minute. Come here, yeah. come here. What? What is it? Come here. Come here. Shh. Listen to that. What's that, then? Oliver and Arthur's bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking, mate. That's what I get all night. Squeak, squeak, squeak. All night long. Are you still awake? Well, shut up that audible noise and let one of us get to sleep. <laughs> oh, Arthur, I can't 
can't help it, it's the bed. Every time it moves, I move it squeak. Well, I never make it squeak. You don't have to tell me that. <laughs> well, there you are, eh? See a bed, fall into bits. Go on. Mm. I wouldn't have thought that Arthur and Ollie. No, they don't, no, they oh. don't, no. <laughs> It's been like ever since they've had it, and it's getting worse. It's getting yeah? worse, yeah. yeah. That's what I have to put up with, though. Ah, well, good luck, mate. Yeah, tell on, mate. See ya. Yeah, tell on. Tell on, mate. Oh, that blasted bed. <laughs> <laughs> Will you shut up that audible noise? Oh, Arthur, I can't help it. I only have to move a little and it squeaks. You never move yourself all day. Don't you get in the bed, you wriggle around <laughs> monster. <laughs> now lie still. Oh, yes, Arthur. What's going on now? Oh, the do something! Oh. Oh. Come here, then. Give me oh. this. Give me this. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 You and your ruddy crap waking me up in the middle of the night. Oh. <laughs> Hey, what's going Hello. on in there? There's other people in the house besides you, you know. What's happening? Have a thought of her, darling? I don't know, Mum. Olive, are you all right? Oh, I'm coming, Mum. I've got the cramps. Oh, oh, my poor baby. I know just how you feel. I used to get the cramp there when I was expecting Olive. <laughs> Did the old man rub your leg like that, then? Of course not. God, blimey, me, she was expecting Olive. He couldn't get anywhere near, could he? <laughs> Well, love, it's your circulation, you see. When she stops moving, the blood can't get from her heart to her feet. I'm not surprised, Blimey. Look at the size of her stomach. It can't get through there, can it? <laughs> don't be so rude. You oh. ought to sleep standing up. Oh, don't be daft. Only horses can do that. <laughs> Sounds very suitable. Oh, shut up. You can leave it. It was his fault he told me to stop wriggling about. Did he really? Here, Stan, what's that supposed to mean? Well, you know, blimey, she only has to flick her eyelids and, and the bed squeaks. Listen to it, look. Ooh. I cannot afford a new bed, not at present day prices. Well, if you can't afford a new one, well, blimey, you can repair this one, can't you? Look, it's the brackets, mate, that's what it is. Oh, no. Look, look, I'll show you. Blimey, they're all loose. Those brackets are too old to be tightened. All right, I'll go and get a spanner and tighten them myself. Now, get this. That's it. No, I'll not tighten it. All right, all right, all right. All right. I think I'll get another turn on that one. <coughs> hey, well, mate, that's the last one. Yeah, well, I'm here to tell you, mate, those brackets are cast hard and not meant to be tightened to that extent. And well, I'm here to tell you, mate, that won't squeak. That's as solid as a rock. All right, all right. You wait, it's got some weight on it. Yeah, you just on. watch. Go on, then. Yeah. Oh, and it's solid, oh, eh? Yeah, well, <laughs> there's only one of us in it, isn't there? Huh? Listen, mate, that better take a five-ton weight. Olive, get on it. <laughs> oh, does make a sound. Yeah, yeah, well. yeah. yeah. Lovely. Oh, yeah, she's all yeah. right. Stop being an idiot! I told you not to have you tighten those pots! But at least it's not squeaking, is it? Well, I'm not going to sleep in this position, all the blood will rush to me. Come through the mattress. Oh. oh, it's all right on my side, love. You can sleep nearer me. I think I'll sleep downstairs on the sofa. But Arthur! Oh, Mum, I don't want to sleep on my
wild. Never mind, love. We'll sort it all out in the morning. Now you have a nice, undisturbed night's sleep. She never has anything else. <laughs> <laughs> well, good night, love. Love. Here, here's your breakfast. Now, come on, eat it all up. There's a good boy. Shut up. Ah, breakfast ready. Ain't anybody seen him yet? No. Ah, oh, poor boy. Must have had a terrible night sleeping on that sofa without Olive. Morning, all. Morning, mother-in-law. I can't remember when I've had a better night's sleep. <laughs> oh, well, you're lucky because I didn't sleep at all. No, and neither did I. You woke me up every time you turned over. Oh, well, it can't have been the bed squeaking because I slept on the floor. No, it wasn't. It was the floorboards creaking. <laughs> they were not. They were. Creak, 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 they went. Oh, no, it wasn't. That was Olive creeping down the stairs. Oh. What well, was a big clock at the bottom, then? Me bolting the door. <laughs> you think it was horrible? Well, there wasn't room for both of us on the sofa, was there, sunshine? Olive came in and slept with me. Ah, it was lovely having my little baby again. Just like old times. She always used to come into my bed when she was little and afraid of the bogeyman. <laughs> Being married to him, I'm surprised you don't sleep with you every night. <laughs> How very funny. <laughs> well, what do you intend doing about that bed, may I ask? I was perfectly all right until you tampered with it. Now the fact remains we have nowhere to sleep. Well, I do think it's time you bought a new bed, Arthur. We have been married nine years. Yeah, well, now you mention it, I, uh, I was thinking about that during the night. Oh, uh, were you, love? Yeah, and I've come to the conclusion of what we need are two single beds. Single beds? <laughs> but, Arthur, that's silly. You'd never fit two beds in our bedroom. You didn't say both beds were going to be in the same room. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not right, Arthur. I mean, Dad and me had a double bed for 29 years. We never wanted no single beds. In any case, in them days, it was too cold to walk across the line now. <laughs> Single beds are more hygienic. Oh, all this modern, fangled rubbish. Just think, if Dad and me had had single beds, my little Olive might never have been born. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I'm simply made much difference to you, do it? Eh? Well, two kids, 29 years. Blimey, one of our clippers did better than that in the phone box. Oh, <laughs> next week, a bed week. Oh. Oh. Yeah, well, uh, on consideration, I think a double bed might be better. Oh, love, it would be cosier. Mm -hmm. There's 52 bob cheaper. <laughs> you never say anything nice, do you? Well, at present price, I doubt if I can afford a double bed. Well, look here, she's not sleeping on the floor every night. I don't know what he's doing with oh, anybody else. Every morning, oh, 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 hello, Jack. Hello. hello. Come on, Stan, we're going to be on that learner's bus by nine. Yeah, I'm just finishing up my breakfast, remember me? Morning, Olive. What's the matter with you? You're not your usual charming, bright, witty self this morning. Leave me alone. I'm worn out. I've spent half the night on the floor. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, mate. There must be more to married life than I thought. <laughs> Do you mind? Thanks to your friend here, our bed broke down last night. I'm now faced with a bill for £30. 30? Ah, oh, that's ridiculous, mate. I know where you can get one for half that price. Hey? Yeah, it's practically brand new. Ooh, Olive, did you hear that? It's my Auntie May's. Oh, well, I, uh, I just might be interested. Where does this Auntie May of yours live? Ah, oh, she's got a flat over at Leeside Column, the other side of town. Oh, don't talk. Wet cost me a fortune to get it over here, wouldn't it? I'd have to hire a fan. If you want it, Arthur, mate, I can soon fix that. It's a real bargain, you know. Oh, well, well if it's that a bargain... What's your auntie mate want to get rid of it for? Ah, well, my uncle snuffed it a couple of weeks ago. He died in that very bed, as a matter of fact. <laughs> oh, well, Arthur, I don't think I'd like to sleep in a bed in which someone's passed away. Well, sleeping with Arthur for nine years, I should think you'd be used to it. Stand <laughs> it! I will not have this sort of time! <laughs> you might get it off the work. Get on, mama, Look, okay, up there's me, Jack. That's it. Lovely, mate. Four up there. Okay, Bert. I want to see how well you can negotiate a difficult route. Okay? Get cracking. No stopping. We're full up. Stop 
up here for? We don't want to pick anybody up. The oil warning light's gone on. We'll rev the engine up and soon go out. What's that? Sounds like a big end's gone. Something must have run dry of oil. Damn big dog. Carla down. I checked it this morning. We couldn't have got through ten quarts of oil. Ah, we haven't got through it. The engine's chucked it out. It's all down here, look. God, blimey. Well, you're the expert. Can you fix it? Oh, of course I can't. No, I'll, uh, I'll get on to the depot, get the breakdown boys out, and uh, they'll fix it, and then we can get on the road. Yeah, all right, then you do that. Yeah. <laughs> Now, look, Jack, listen, you sure we've got everything stowed up top? I've checked it all, mate. It's all up there. Mattress, springs, headboard, the lot. Right. Now, as soon as Mike's finished that, we can get on our way. Heads up. Here comes Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you're red-headed this time. You thought you were going to get away with that, didn't you? What? What? Don't try and kid me. You let that oil dry out on purpose so you could get back here and have a couple of hours off, didn't you? Yes, I know your little tricks, mate. Well, it's not going to work. Yes. That bus is going to be out of here in five minutes' time and you're both going to be on it. Oh, you're a right slave driver, you are, Ralph Blakey. Don't try and pull one over on me, mate. I wasn't born yesterday, you know. I was a busman myself. I know all the tricks. Oh, you're clever, Blakey, you are. Dead clever. All right, Stan, it's ready. Take okay. that now. Okay, Mike, yeah. Okay, Inspector, I'll finish. Come on, get in the bus. Okay, right. get out. Come, come on, come on. Hey, help! You can have a go driving this time. Ready, go. Right, buddy. Hey, hang about, hang about. What? Second thoughts. This bus could do with a run through the wash. Get some old plates on that one and take that one out instead, will you? No, no, uh, no. Uh, uh, we can't take that one out. Uh, of course, uh, well, we like this one, don't we? Uh, yes, yes, we're very fond of this one. Uh, well, we got used to it. What are you talking about? They're both the same, aren't they? No, no, uh, they're different. Well, what's the difference? I don't know, but they're different. <laughs> well, I can't see what that bus has got what that one ain't got. Well, thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, you see, uh, what I say is different is that... Uh, I mean, let's face it, we've been taking this one out for the last three days. Yeah. Would you go in steady, are you? <laughs> <laughs> when are you going to announce the engagement? <laughs> well, it's, it's like an old worn shoe, isn't it? Well, I've heard of cowboys getting attached to their horses before, but that's blooming ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> now, you're just hanging about to waste my time, and you get out of it. No, before. no, come on, Blakey, we've yeah, got on our way. Come on, get on our way. Get, get, get off that bus, come out of it. How can we run a bus company if every busman wants his own bus? Now, you get on that bus and I'll, I'll tell the superintendent I'll switch you. No. Hey, Elf, get in the other bus, will you? Now, listen, Blakey, Blake, listen, Blakey, listen. listen. Now, listen, listen just a minute, Blake. Look, look, look why, why switch us? Look, you're taking the other bus out and that's an order. Now, get some Elf plates on it. Not only Elf plates, we've got to get on it, we've got to shift that bed. Don't be daft. How can we shift that bed here? Come out and catch us any minute. Yeah, well, we'll just well, have to delay him by accident. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> there we are. Right, come on. Here. Come on, quick, get that bed on yeah. that bus. No, hang on, hang on. There's no hang hanging on. on. You lot are in it up to here like we are now. Get that bed off of there and get it on that one. Yeah. Oh, no. 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 Don't hang about. Come on. Look slippy. Hey, Butler. Is he... Hey, Butler. What's going on? Can you get the key there? No, no, there's no key here. No, no, it's... Uh, no. That must be jammed. Uh, have a look, have a look. Come on, then. Hurry up, get up. Come on. Hurry up, Come on. 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 Well, he's getting vicious, isn't he? Yeah, well, that's because he hasn't got a mate. <laughs> yeah, tell you what, we'll phone up the zoo. <laughs> Morons. Come on, get me out of here. I don't think they'd let him out, do you? Why's that? Well, he's only one of his kind, you know, one of his species, no. They'd most probably keep him for mating purposes. Oh, yeah. If you don't get me out of here, I'll report a pair of you. Hey, Stan, Stan, quick. What? What's the matter? We're having trouble. The mattress is stuck on the stairs. Oh, no, I mean, can't you do anything you see? Well, pull it! Come on, pull it! Come on, pull it! Oh, it stinks. Come on. Oh, thank God you've got me out. Him, him out of the two would have left me in here all day, you know. Now, what's going on with this bus? Find it out there, eh? Hey, come on, what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you with this butler. 
You've had it this time, mate. You did that in purpose to injure me, didn't you? Is he all right? Well, I'm going to make a full report about this. Yeah, he's all right. <laughs> What's the idea of this, eh? You've gone too uh, far this time. What's no, he doing in here? Uh, um, um, How did he get here? Well, well, one of the passengers must have left yeah. it on there. Yeah, you know what these housewives are like, always leaving their shopping on the bus. Yeah, he must think I'm potty, mate. There's no passengers been on that bus. It's a trainee bus. You two left that mattress on there. What are you training these two girls for? Fuck <laughs> <laughs> off it, Blakey. <laughs> this is a bus, mate, not a mobile bordello. <laughs> <laughs> You're six maniacs, you are. A mattress. You're not even supposed to smoke downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> You've gone too far this time, I'll tell you. Now, ah, look, it's all... I'll tell you something. It's all innocent. I'll explain it to you. It's me rubbery law office mattress and we were delivering it for him. Well, how could you do that, then? Well, how was we to know the bus was going to break down? Oh, oh, I see it, yeah. It's all coming now. You've been using that bus as a private delivery service, haven't you? Well, no. Well, the general manager will be very interested to read about yes, this. Mate, we're allowed to carry parcels on that bus. It's in the regulations. Yeah. We was just showing the clippies how to handle big parcels. Yeah. Pull the other one, mate. It's got bells on it. <laughs> anyway, what's that hanging about? We don't want it left about here, do we? I've seen enough randy goings on up against the back wall of a night time. <laughs> now, get that on that bus there and get it taken off home out of it. Go on. Well, don't you hear what he said? Go on. Get it on the other bus. That's it. Uh, that's it. Uh, very decent of you, Blake, yeah, yeah. isn't it? Miss you, mate. Yes, you yeah. did, mate. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, love. Can I have your ticket machine, please? Oh, yes, Inspector. Thank you very much. We must do this thing properly, mustn't we? Yeah. Right, then. I'm afraid I shall have to issue you with a parcel ticket. What are you talking about? We get free passes for us and our families. Yeah. Yes, well, a mattress is not a relative, is it? It might be a very good friend of yours, but it's not a relative. <laughs> <laughs> oh, blimey, all right. How much a parcel, Jack? One and three, yes, sir. Yeah. That is correct, yes. Yeah. One and three per parcel. Yeah, right. Hang on, what are you doing? Well, yeah, that's about 20 tickets. Listen, a mattress ain't 20 parcels, you know. No, you're right. It's more like 30, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, 20 wants a mattress. Do you want to buy the headboard or the spring bait? What? <laughs> <laughs> headboard and spring bait? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you bang my game down, you head back.